Hey, hi everyone. This is Adib Oberoi, and this tutorial is about removing color casts in DaVinci Resolve. In specific, we're going to make this shot look like this. Of course, there are several methods to remove color casts in DaVinci Resolve, but we will concentrate on two methods. We will take a look at method number one, and in a later separate tutorial, we will go over method number two. I'd like to mention, I personally prefer method number two. However, it uses some more advanced tools. Method number one, on the other hand, the method in this tutorial, uses the more conventional tools. Now let me start by saying that this shot, I think, there's nothing wrong with it. I actually quite like it. I mean, of course, it needs some work, but you see this all the time in the movies. You know, when somebody walks into a bar and there just happens to be a colored light, or in a discotheque scene, or any other type of party. I actually think that the DOP of this shot did a great job recreating this mood. But for some reason, the director asked me to do a version without the color cast. So he requested two versions. One with the color cast, and one without the color cast. To create the version without the color casts, we need to do some work. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. And yes, this is the studio version. But believe me, everything we are going to do will work exactly the same in the light version. I am not going to use any features that are only limited to the studio version. So we have the shot to be color corrected in the timeline, and it's time to go to the color page. Now remember, we are not going to grade this image. We are not going to create a look. We are going to color correct this image, which means we are going to remove the color cast, we're going to balance it out and make it look neutral. And with this balanced image, the director can decide which way he wants to go with this shot. So let's create our first node, shall we? And traditionally, we will leave this empty. And here is our second node, which we are going to work in. So let's analyze this picture. Of course, number one, there is a tremendous color cast. And what else do we need to correct? As we see in our waveform, we need to correct the exposure. And third, we see in the vector scope that it's highly oversaturated. As we know in DaVinci, the order of the nodes are very important. What I would like to do eventually is white balance this image and take out the color cast. And as there is no true black point that we know of, nor a true white point, we need to rely on something else, the skin tones. So what I will do eventually is select the skin tones and correct that. But as you will see, this doesn't work at this moment, because there is something else we need to do first. So let's reset this node, and the first thing we're going to do is let's look at our waveform and correct the exposure. And let's leave the gamma there. And let's up the gain just a little bit. And leave it right there. And then we'll go to the curves and bring everything down just a little bit. And now we see on the waveform that the exposure is much better. And let's label this node exposure. And as we can see now on the, on the vector scope, it is oversaturated. So let's add a parallel node, and let's call this desaturation. And we'll bring the saturation down. Let's look at the vector scope. 
Let's put it at 50. Now that looks much better. I mean, it still has the color cast, but the exposure is better and it's not oversaturated anymore. So now let's start correcting the white balance. We will add another serial node and we will call this white balance, WB, obviously. Now, as mentioned before, we do not know in this image what is pure black and what is pure white. But if we look at the waveform, we will see that the blackest point in this image is all the way on the left, probably right here. So let's pick this as our black point. And let's pick as white the color of this shirt. There you go. And let's pick the skin tone with the curves and we will bring that down right there. We will also bring the highlights down right there and bring the blacks up. Like so. Now that looks much better, but we still have to remove some of the color cast. Now for this we will create another serial node and we will label this skin tones because we are going to correct the skin tones. And now we are going to mask a nice portion of the skin tones and we are going to turn our vector scope on and we are going to offset this very nicely until we see that the skin tones are on the skin tone line. Now the skin tone line is, is just a reference, it's right here, but it helps a lot. And so far we got this. We went from this to this. One more time, from this to this. Now I feel that there is still a strong yellow greenish color cast. So we're going to get rid of that. We create an extra serial node and we are going to label this one U versus saturation. So let's go to the curves, let's go to U versus saturation, let's turn on the vector scope and let's pick where that color cast is. I feel it's right here. Let's include some more greens and bring that down. All right, before and after. I don't know if you can see that, so let me enlarge it. Now let's increase the color boost just a little to bring a little color back into the image. Let's put it at 15. Now it does look way better, but there is still something we can do. So let's add another serial node and let's pick that problem area again. Let's see right there. And now we are in U versus U. Let's label this U versus U. Let's broaden this out just a little bit. And let's up this just a little bit right there before and after. Okay, that looks much better in my opinion. And let's see that enlarged. We are almost there. Now, before we continue, let's have a look at our waveform. Oh, okay, we see we are crushing the blacks just a little bit. So let's fix that. Let's create another node. And let's fix the blacks right here in curves. And we see right away that our blacks are much better.
and just increase those skin tones slightly. So we'll create one more parallel node. We'll go to curves, hue versus saturation. We'll pick the skin tones and we will increase those skin tones just slightly, very subtle. So we're done, but I would like to do one thing. I always do this, double check. We'll create a serial node and let's label this one again, skin tones. And let's pick the skin tones. This time, let's pick the forehead. And yes, it looks, it looks very good. I'm also going to check this other part of the skin tones right there. And yes, that looks good. And there we have it. Before and after. Once again, before and after. Now let's collect all the nodes. and put them into one compound node. And now this compound node is my color correction. Again, this is not a look, this is not a creative anything, this is a color correction. What we did is we color corrected this image, we removed the color cast and we balanced it out. We can see on the waveform that the exposure looks pretty good. No overexposed whites, no crushed blacks, and the skin tones are nicely exposed. On the vector scope, we see that there is no color cast anymore. Now remember that the order of the nodes inside the compound node are very important. And now with this correction, the director can decide which direction he would like to go, what type of look he would like to create. Thank you for watching. This was a deep Oberoi.